Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Let's take a look at how we can get our students doing some wonderful design, but also collaborating on design. So I've been working in Canva here and I've been working on my uh, header for my new Udemy course, but just say I wanted to put this out to my students and I wanted to get some feedback on how it's looking, some uh, design tips from others and, and a range of different kind of feedback, informative feedback. Now, you could be doing this with an infographic, for example. So if I go back to my designs, you might have your students creating uh, infographics. Um, it could be something like uh, this one here. And what we could actually have doing is actually have our students giving some feedback. So this could be just the start of my infographic, for example. And what I could do is I could use Google Docs um, to get kids collaborate, collaborating in the one space. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this just really, really quickly by doing uh, Command Shift 4. Command Shift 4 is a great way of taking quick screenshots of different things, screen, screen grabs. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump out of Canva a second, I'm going to jump into my Google Drive and get your students to do this. I'm going to create a new presentation. Um, you could use Google Docs for this, but, uh, but I'm going to use a Google presentation. I'm just going to say OK, and I'm going to quickly get rid of these here. Uh, quickly get rid of, and I'm going to drag my, that screen grab that I just had. I'm going to drag it into my... Um, document. So I might just whack it here. That'll take a little bit of a time to just generate and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And this is going to be my collaboration space. Um, so what we're actually going to do here is let's set up um, let's set up a little collaboration. So what I'm simply going to do is uh, create some text box with some leading questions. So I might have here, I might have uh, style and I'll just put some question marks uh, to indicate this is where um, I'm, I'm needing some feedback. Let's put in another one and look at some other design elements. Let's look at um, colors that I'm using. Let's insert another one um, with possible uh, fonts and, and effective fonts that I could be using and so on. And all I'm going to do here is just spread these out a little bit and then just put in some arrows. Uh, so I'll just put in a couple of arrows here. Uh, so I'll just say uh, style here because that's referring to there. Uh, let's go another arrow here. Uh, how are these colors actually working? What does this represent? Um, let's whack in another arrow here for fonts. Uh, just say our fonts are going to go there. And basically that is it. Setting up a, a template. Let me just call this uh, feedback for infographic. Go OK. Um, and this could be just a real brainstorming session. I don't think we, we get kids collaborating collaborating enough. Um, it doesn't have to be design elements like an infographic. It could be basically a story, anything. And basically what we're going to do there is we're going to share that. Uh, we'll get shareable link. Um, anyone can view. Well, let's get on to anyone can edit. Copy, Command C, copy that. And we've now got... Um, that web link ready for that to be shared amongst other other kids um, and collaborating on the one uh, the one page I guess um, so we could ask for feedback now what we could have students doing then is um, the student that I'm actually working with might actually do um, their own canva graphic and bring it into page two and actually drag that in in regard to um, a different look so once again, I was looking at, um, I was doing a little banner in Canva for my Udemy course on iPad creativity, and that could be slide two. And what you could actually have is this uh, infographic or whatever it may be uh, progressively. Oh, that's a completely different graphic. But what we could actually have is that infographic getting uh, developed from slide to slide as we actually go along and with the feedback we actually see the infographic growing um, both in detail and good design and all of a sudden it's building into something that um, is better than the first attempt which is what feedback is all about. So once again that was a little, um, that's Canva there, 
uh, great way of, of designing and getting things like infographics, posters, um, headers, but we can also do some fantastic collaboration and feedback giving uh, in regard to using uh, Google presentations as a form of doing that. So Paul Hamilton here, quick tutorial on getting kids to collaborate within the Google Apps for Education framework, but also using some great design tips with Canva. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.